Hi, YouTubers. Jeff Cote here with another session uh, of Ask PYS. So we've got a boater named Mike, and Mike asks a good question. He's got a 46 grand banks, and he's run. he has a conundrum. Big word, by the way. Um, I think I almost pronounced it right. And he's got a Furuno black box DSS-1, uh, basically a fish finder. The black box sounder is connected to my PC running TZ Navigator. And here's where it gets interesting. This black box has two connections to ground, one that with power, shield, and one with a lug on the case. What is the best place to ground each of these? Oh, this is a tough one, isn't it? Why multiple negatives? Well, I remember when I started this whole world after graduating university and trying to figure all this stuff out, I didn't understand either, to be quite honest. So there's really two concepts, um, and we're gonna do a special probably long video on grounds because it's been requested a numerous times by you guys, the YouTubers out there. Um, so what we want to do. So you've got this concept of what's called an RF ground and a return ground, right? So you're going to have a shield, yes, uh, connected on the wire so that basically everything is sort of grounded to the battery. But it's also important to have the case shielded. And that's basically what, there's a big distinction between what's called a non-current carrying ground and a current carrying ground, right? So one is a return path, right? That's actually you're expecting current on. And the other one is really no current at all. It's just a reference point. So for instance, in this case, the black box, right? That little lug on the side that needs a connection, that is to keep everything grounded at actually basically zero and it's not we're not expecting any current on that wire but sometimes there's a lot of magnetic interference right like inductive like when current goes through a wire it causes induction regardless right like there's always a magnetic flux as current goes through wires and since there's a lot of wires in boats and there's a lot of wires close to one another one way to alleviate or stop all these sort of weirdness or ghosts on a boat is to have everything properly grounded and the way to do that is to have a non-current carrying grounds connected or the RF grounds connected to all the electronic equipment on your boat. So you basically run a small wire to all these points. They all end up being connected to a common ground point, but you're not expecting current on that cable. It's just to keep the equipment or the electronics at the same potential. And so, you know, a lot of people don't do it because it works without it. But then if things are weird and acting up, you know, if you don't follow the instructions, we can't really blame the equipment, right? We've got to blame ourselves, right? Because we didn't follow the instructions. So when we do navigation system installs, I definitely ask my techs to wire the RF ground to a non-current carrying connection that is going to be separate from the DC negative connection on that boat. Definitely worth doing. Thank you for watching this uh, PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask it below or contact us on our contact form on our website. I'm happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping our channel ad-free by purchasing some merch on our store or making a donation through PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.